Hi. So I had, uh, done, this is a continuing on from my last video about moving and moving in with my daughter and her fiance and our soon to be Irish twins. My grandchild is five months old and her mother, my daughter, is also five months pregnant. So they will be 10 months apart. So I'm, I live in my apartment now, but we're going to try to find a place, hopefully a four or five bedroom home, hopefully with some yard in the back for Cooper. And um, I'm going to start dismantling my apartment, but I'm gonna try to do it on a minimalistic, like become minimalistic because after I help her with the babies and get them all set and get everybody maybe where the babies are walking and talking and it's a little easy for her to get them in the car, go to work, pack up, you know, do all that kind of stuff um, with the diaper change, get them out of diaper changes and napping and sleeping through the nights and all that big hump. Then I'm either going to try to find um, a tiny home if I could or live in an RV and travel. So I, I'm going to take this opportunity to try the minimalistic um, lifestyle and declutter and see how this goes. So the first thing I'm going to start with is, and I'm going to show you the before and afters. So here's my front door. <clears throat> so we're going to start with this front closet which I made my winter closet <clears throat> so and it's messy it's messy right now just because it's winter and you know I need to mop and stuff so I'm like okay don't even notice that um, there's the bad storm coming today so I'm gonna mop it but I figured I might as well just take everything out and I did see on one video, it is best to take everything out and then re-put stuff in. But I'm going to re-purpose um, this closet, okay? Now, all these clothes, these are all my winter sweaters and things, which I love them, okay? But you know what? Wearing sweaters, I get way too hot. I don't know if it's, I mean, I'm not in menopause or anything like that. Like, I think that's been and gone. I, actually, I never even went through it. But some of these things, I don't know if they fit me. And these are all my dresses. Like, where do I go? Like, I've never even worn this dress. You know, I was hoping I had a date, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. And it was really cute. I think I got it with like $7 or something. It was cheap. Um, so I'm going to have to try all these on. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to remove them because I'm repurposing this closet. Then, So I have two bins down there. One is full of boots. Like, I love shoes. And I don't know what's in the other one. But now I have this whole bag, okay? All right, okay, if we're going to talk minimalistic, like how many hat and mitten combos do I need? Okay, this is going to be hard for me. Because I'm like, okay, this goes with this coat, this goes with that coat. That's, that's going to be... Um, that's going to be hard. So I'm probably going to do a pile of, I want to let it go. Well, okay, there's going to be a pile of donate because it doesn't fit me. There's going to be a pile of, I don't really need it, but I love it. But I really need to let it go, but I'm going to have a box for that kind of stuff. So if, if I want it, but I really don't need it. I'm going to put it in a box, okay? I'm going to have a certain size box. And if it turns out that I don't have a lot of those type of things that I need, but I don't, no, that I don't need, but I don't want to let go, like, move, Cooper. No, you're not going outside again. Oh, my God, this dog. Okay, so, like, okay, uh, these shoes. Okay, sorry. All right. So, I, I love these shoes. Like, I just, because I'm a, like, okay, yeah, I was going to say, like, I'm a hiker. No, I'm not a hiker. Like, I can't even walk, like, two blocks. So, like, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. Like, look, look, like, where did I even go in these shoes? I don't even know when I got them. They're, like, barely used. 
I can't even walk two fucking blocks. But then I'm like, okay, well, if I get a RV and we go to BML, BMLA land, Bureau of Land Management, I think whatever, the free, you know, the free land, like it might be muddy. So I'm always, I'm always like a what if person. Like what, what the fuck is what I should be? What the fuck? Not the what if person. And then I have these like sketchers that are really comfortable. But I don't even know the last time I wore them. I have them in brown and black. And these catch, um, all hair and everything on them. They don't really look at, they're not even dirty. Like, why? Like, just why? Why do I have this many? You know, and I don't even go anywhere. <laughs> so, so anyway, I'm going to take all this stuff out and I'm going to repurpose it and I'll show you what I'll put in here. I am going to leave coats. Well, and that's another thing. I love coats. Like, okay, so this coat, okay, this coat does not fit me. But I had it in my car because it was like, my working on my car coat. You know, if I had to get like on the ground and like rehook with um bungee cord, like I don't know, there's this front thing under my bumper that falls down and there's little holes that it goes in. You know, like if I had to lay on the ground or something. I mean I do do stuff, you know. I mean I am if I were a boy, I'd probably be a builder. I guess that's, that's gender bias, I guess. But So I kept this coat because, or if I ever broke down and I needed another coat because I was cold. Like, I'm always a fucking what if person. You know, like, and I just, and I love turtlenecks. Like, I have every color. Like, do I really need a turtleneck? Like, who even wears turtle? Look at this. This is never even worn. Like, what the? Do I even need a turtleneck? Who even wears those anymore? But, I don't know. I think I look good in turtlenecks. Probably like a dork. But, and then, like... Okay. I love Skechers. Oh my god, my shoes are not even dirty. I love these shoes. Now, I did wear these when I drove the bus. Oh, this is going to be so hard. To get rid of shoes and clothes? But it's like, okay, so... Oh, this is going to be difficult. But anyway, people. I am going to first take all this out and repurpose this closet and maybe give myself just like maybe a smaller bin and just allow myself a smaller bin of shoes we'll see what happens okay so I'll get back to you when I get this closet done so just I'm gonna start a little at a time so that's like my front front entrance and then I will work, like, kind of like, you know, back it in, back up the bus, and work my way into my apartment. You know, and then I was like, okay, I can go through the, the books and maybe donate them. When I moved out, of, oh my God, when I moved out of my house, I did donate things and I did sell. There was a place you could sell books at. I mean, me and my daughter, we, we had, um, garage sales but we put everything on and let it go oh my god we look like drug dealers we we had people coming cars pulling in our driveway all fucking hours of the day and night every fucking day i may i swear i made like three fucking thousand dollars a month <laughs> you know we sold i sold every fucking thing in my house um i did keep bookshelves though and um and uh tv trays you know, I kept those, but, and I moved in, I moved into my apartment with a blow up bed and one, one plate, one fork, one knife, one spoon, one cup, 
but I sold everything. I sold my bedroom set, my kitchen table, my family room set, my living room set, and yeah, I mean, I sold everything. You know, I made a fortune um, doing it. So, and then look at, like, I have all these cookbooks. Like, do I even fucking bake? I can't, like, I just don't. <sighs> and then, then, um, you know, I was thinking, because, okay, so I pulled this out from under my bed, because I have shit that I um, put under there. And I was like, okay. I bought this when I moved to my apartment. And it's like, do I really need a scale? I go to the friggin' doctor every other month practically. Like, I know what I weigh. And then this is the kind where you you gotta kinda keep doing that and then you gotta jiggle the, the thing to make sure it's lined up right. So I was like, okay, I could probably give it to Goodwill. But then again, it's like, okay, I'm gonna have to make a box for Goodwill. And if, if it's, um, yeah, I just, you know, if it's too much hassle, I swear I'm just going to put it in the dumpster. And that's why I'm doing this now because I live on a first floor and I can just walk straight right out to the dumpster. And there are things I think I'm just going to put in the dumpster. It's not worth my time to lift it into my car, drive, you know, four miles to the Goodwill and put it in Goodwill. I'm going to put the camera on Cooper just so it's much more entertaining than looking at a scale but I'm like do I need a scale for real because like I'm always weighed at the doctors you know do I really need that and I look oh what I was going to say is the um the $20 rule you know I looked online and I mean I can get another one that's digital because you know sometimes you can't really read the number that well and they had a digital one for like $15. You know, if I really want another scale, I can get one. You know, and then like up here, I have, um, and I'll get to this. You know, I'm going to start, like I said, from the doorway. And I'll just work my way over. So I have a bingo, bingo cage. And I'm like, oh, that would be fun if I had friends over and we were drinking and playing a bingo game. And, uh, you know, like, who's coming over? Like, how many friends do I have? <laughs> you know, like, do, who can I play bingo with? It's just six and up. Like, I gave my daughter, my older daughter, all the games. Like, why did I keep bingo? Like, I do not know. And then this is my bin of games. Sudoku. I've, I've had these fucking book of Sudoku. I don't even know how to play it. I've, I've had this book for... It's never been used. I swear I've had this book. Oh, okay. I've had this book up to page tw uh, 14 was used. Since my daughter was like in high school. And that was... I don't know, eight years ago? Like, she's 27. Yeah, like over eight years ago. Like, why? Why do I have it? And then, <laughs> word puzzles? I mean, I was a teacher, okay, so, yeah, but, I was like, oh, well, when I get old, I am fucking old, but when I get old, I can just sit down and when I have nothing to do, play Sudoku. A fun for the whole family. Like, I just, I don't even know how to play this game. Like, why do I need that? So yeah, that, that would go into a box of, <sighs> get rid of. Like, that would be like a pile. Like, okay, scale, I don't really need. Sudoku, then, oops, I don't really need. Take it to Goodwill or give it to somebody. Now, this, 
Do you remember this? Does anyone have this? I drove an hour at lunch one day to go get this. This was the thing. This was the bomb. I wonder if it's worth any money. Stack challenge. It was like the thing. I was like a probation officer. I think I was like 26 maybe. And it was the hot item. It was Radio Shack. Do they even have Radio Shack anymore? I should see if that's worth it. any money. And I've kept this all this time. I'm 57 now. And I've just been lugging this from place to place. <laughs> because I don't know why. Yeah. I gotta see if that's worth anything. But, so yeah. So, this is the start of it. So, I will show you this closet. <sighs> Maybe I could get it done today. We'll see. It's February 1st. So, I'm hoping to get my apartment done. By the, I'm giving myself a month. Hopefully, I can work faster, faster than that. So, we'll see. So, this is part one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Yay, I found my uh, <laughs> white jacket and it fits. So, and I found, um, I've been finding things I did, forgot I had. Like the, these black shirts. I know you can't see it on camera. But, and now I get to see if I, uh, my blue jean jacket, I'm going to see if that fits. So, I'm making progress, people. Let's keep going. And of course, Thomas is in everything. Okay, so blue jean jacket does not fit. This is the pile of jackets that I have that don't fit. My nice Columbia rain jacket. I'm going to see if my daughter can use it with her being pregnant. At least it'll <coughs> cover her belly. But I didn't plan on trying all my clothes on, but, but I am. So, of course, yes, this is a match. I have my long underwear on. But what I'm doing is I'm trying something on. And, yes, this is kind of really old lady-ish. I've had it for years. Um, when I used to work in the court system, go to court. So, um, I've been trying everything on to see if it fits, number one. So, this does fit. But then I kind of look at the side to see, you know, like, not too bad. So, what my criteria is, is if, if I did a, if someone had me on the news <laughs> or was like on a date in sight and took a, okay, I know I'm not skinny, but if they took a 360 view of me, um, as long as, you know, it's looking okay and it's not totally unflattering, um, you know, and it fits, then I'm keeping it. So that's how I'm going through my clothes. If I can do a 360 view of myself and nothing looks like it's too tight, you know, bulges or anything like that, or, you know, I, I don't really have rolls, but I know I'm not thin. Um, but if it fits and, you know, on the side, you know, it looks okay, everything's smooth, then if I like it, <laughs> um, I, I will keep it. So that's my test, the 360 rule. Um, looking in the mirror, if it's not, if it's unflattering, get rid of it. If it fits and you look okay, and, and if someone were to take a 360 view of yourself and you weren't embarrassed, totally embarrassed by yourself, um, 
then uh, keep it. All right, so let's continue on. So we're down to the, sorry if it's, I don't know why it's blurry. Let me focus it. Hang on. Okay, I think it's okay. So we're down to the shoes now. This is going to be a project. Um, I am going to keep coats in here. I This is the only dresses I have left. So I hung them up because I didn't want them um, hanging on the floor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I was thinking, you know, not that I would wear a dress every day, but if I sub or have to go somewhere fancy like the gender reveal again or the shower or whatever um i have some dresses and then i will go to the shoes and i will pick shoes that will match um my dresses okay so that's going to help with eliminating a lot of my because i have a whole bin full of boots and then over here hung up let's see if i could back up the camera at all hang on a minute let me just back I'm trying to okay so these are all the clothes so if I do go subbing um, so I have one two three four five six seven eight like nine nine outfits um, I have one pair of pants here two pair of pants and nine outfits basically um, for subbing if I have to go sub, you know, these are nicer outfits. A sweater, blouse, you know, I got a brown pair of pants and a black pair of pants. So that should get me for that. And then I will get shoes to go with, match my shoes that can go with those. Like I said, the blue jean jacket did not fit. Um, trying to make sure I'm back up. I'm going to forfeit. <laughs> my turtlenecks um yeah and this one i didn't even wear so i'm forfeiting because they're what like not 7.99 at walmart so if i find the need a lot of the dresses some i didn't even wear this is vera wang um i was disappointed they didn't fit oh i don't know what i was just showing you but these are my dresses I love this one at the bottom it's I call it my power dress I've had it for years like years and it has a jacket it's um harbor dress I don't know but I love it I call it my power dress because whenever I would put it on with brown heels or beige heels I mean I just felt power you know, heels, put a girl, he, uh, heels on a girl, you feel power. So, I don't know. I mean, I haven't worn it in years because I used to wear it to court and all when I used to work for the court system. And then only two pants, uh, let's see, one pair of pants didn't fit. And then I had some sweaters and some shirts that didn't fit. So, that's my pile to give away to Goodwill. And this is my pile of sweaters that I'm keeping. Um, I have leggings, brown leggings to go with these sweaters and black leggings to go with the bottom sweaters. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sweaters. So that's good. You know, a week's worth of sweaters. And that, ugh. oh, that might fall over. Move, Thomas. And then I have, these are what I would consider sweatshirts. And I had eliminated this one because it's kind of dorky, but it fits and it looks good. You know, it fits well, rather. But I kind of like wearing those because if the baby spits up on me, I don't care if that gets ruined. So if I, I do have a chill... I can wear a sweater those these I kind of consider like my sweatshirts because I don't have sweatshirts anymore I used to have a whole bunch 
I might have a bin, which I'll probably have to get rid of. So that's only one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Five sweatshirt type things. So now, mind you, I have a whole nother closet full of clothes, <laughs> pants and um, t-shirts and summer clothes. This was just my winter closet. So we're making progress. So we will go on to the shoes. Okay, so I cleaned this closet out. Um, I am gonna leave the coats and the rain shoes in here. Um, so I'm gonna take the dresses out, but I did go through all my shoes, so these dresses can go with my tall brown boots and then these dresses, this dress, and maybe the other ones can go with those other lighter brown boots. And of course, Thomas has to get in on the action. Um, these are the shoes I'm saving. I think I'm gonna shave, shave, save the brown sketchers. And then I have the short brown boots from my brown leggings, short brown boots, I mean black boots from my black leggings. These, I'm gonna keep, um, I have some gray pants, like leggings that go with a gray sweater that I do wear. So it does look good with the gray. Of course, that's not being minimalistic, I guess. And I'm gonna keep these for, um, they're very sturdy, they're sketchers, they're comfortable. I did wear them when I drove the bus, so if I do drive the bus. However, um, I do have to make a decision if I keep these or not. Because they serve, serve the same purpose as those brown uh, sketchers I just showed you. You know, I really like the, these. They look cute with jeans. Um, I might put them in the, which I did do, set aside um, pile. Now, these I really like. They're so cute. I hardly ever wore them. Well, I did wear them, but they're cute. Um, you know, I'm 5'2", so I always dated people that were taller than me. So those are really cute with jeans and stuff. But they're not very comfortable. I can't last very long in them. These are really cute too. Again, because I'm short, they have the heel. But they're not really comfortable long term. I was so disappointed that these kind of don't fit. I mean, I might be able to force myself into them. So, you know, I do have a lot of dresses that go with tall black boots. So I probably will make a note to myself that I might need to buy tall black boots because I, I, I prefer to wear boots with a low heel versus like, you know, a dress shoe with a dress. And then I have this pile of mess. Now, if you have animals and dogs especially, these were my takeout dog shoes. I used to have um, a white pair and they became looking like this. And now this is my black pair. They're very comfortable. They're a champion. However, I'm going to ditch them. Just like that. And I had these shoes that are very comfortable. My what if shoes. What if I go camping? Because I had an RV. What if, what if, what if. These were very my Nikes. Very comfortable. But just haven't worn them in years. Um, these are slippers that are so comfortable but so annoying because they take up Cooper's hair. Can't deal with them. So annoying. These are the black Skechers. So because they're so comfortable, I think I might use these as my dog shoes, you know, because they're like brand new almost and they're really comfortable. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put these over as the dog shoes. The new dog shoes to get, um, to get ruined. Now, these are Skechers. And I'm so mad because these were my favorite. I wore them all the time. They turned into dog shoes because they were looking so bad. They don't make these anymore. 
these were, I don't know what they're called, but I can't find them anymore. And these are the most comfortable shoes ever in my whole life. Um, especially with my bad back. <sighs> I hate to throw them out. I may, I might just have to put them in my, with the, with those boots. Hang on. To think about. Now these snow boots, I've been wearing with the let the dog out snow boots, but the zipper didn't go up. So I'm going to trash those too. And I found my other snow boots in my closet, in the bin. And these fit really nice. They're in really good shape, but I was missing, I don't know how, why, missing one of the shoelaces. So I took out the other shoelace. So I'm going to measure it and um, get a new shoe. You know, I'm sure you have to buy them in pairs, but get a new shoelace. So this will be my other pair of snow boots. So I'll put that in there because I have one pair of snowshoes that I wore also when I was driving the bus and they go with my blue coat and I loved them, but I wore the shit out of them. So they're really looking nasty now. So I'm glad I found those other boots. So yeah, so this I just have to put in my, you know, hold off till I can break myself from those shoes. The same with these shoes. Um, and I do have these shoes, which I also used as dog shoes so I don't know I might have to put those in a pile maybe I'll put those in a bag so that if I find that I don't need them don't use them then I'll get rid of them I think that's what I'll do I'll hang them on a hanger in a bag and if I find I don't reach for them by the time I move out I'll just ditch them and that's my plan that's what I'll do so I got rid of all those shoes I actually have everything in one bin those are all gonna go in my other closet so these these can go in that bin too because the dresses will go in my other closet now mind you I have a whole other closet and I have a whole bunch of other shoes but these will be my dog shoes that's what I'll do so my dog shoes will stay in here with the coats and um, my rain shoes our little rain boots and my rain shoes now if I weren't minimalistic I'd be like I need a red coat to go with my red paint rain boots um, I do have a black coat but it's not a rain coat so um, and then my dresses will go in the other closet with these shoes my other cl clothes closet now in this closet, I am going to put like the TV tray and move Cooper. Oh my God, he's too big for this place. I don't know if you could see, but I have shit all under this bed. You can't really see anything. The scale was under there. So the things that are, I think there's a card table under there, um, folding chairs, you know, just items like that you can't box up. I'm going to put that in the front closet. And I have some stuff in the bedroom, which is my storage room. In the front closet. So that I can get into my storage room and go through that. But as I said, I'm working from the doorway. You know, across the room. And I think I've made good progress today. It's, it's um, quarter after two. I don't know when I started, maybe 10-ish. That's not too bad, my back is killing me now. So I do have to stop, I do have to take Cooper out again. Yeah, I think I started at like 10 maybe, because I think that's the last time he went out. So, I think I'm doing good. I'm proud of myself. Um, and when I do move, I might even, you know, be in the mood to get... you got to be in the mood to do this kind of shit. 
Um, the next thing I'm going to do, hopefully today, since I'm working on like making it a coat closet in the, you know, dog shoe closet in the snow boot closet. Oh wait, I got to take these out. Because these will be my snow boots. <laughs> and put them in here. Alright. So that will make more room in this bin for my other shoes. I'll organize that better. I don't know what I was going to say, but I forget. But so hopefully you're liking this video so far. So we will keep going. Next to the winter hats, mittens and gloves. and I don't even know what happened. Like, did they breed? I don't know. So hang on. Let's see. Hopefully, wait. Let me see. I'm trying to let you see this. <laughs> Hang on a minute, people. <clears throat> That's not helping. Well, maybe this will. Well, whatever. Um. So, as I'm, yeah, putting this into the box, um, I'm, what do you call it, rolling hair off of my boot. Okay. Um, because Cooper, you know, whenever I put on anything black, I get hair all over it. So I did it to my brown boot and to my black boot. And of course, I still see some on here. But so I'm rolling them in the on the boot. Okay, as I'm putting it in the bin. Um, neatly, okay, kind of like a shoe store, whatever. As I'm putting my shoes in here, so that hopefully I can fit my summer shoes in in here, or maybe get a smaller bin for the other shoes. Okay, so. That takes care of this bin. Um, and as I have a whole family host of these type of things, I am going to leave one of these in my bin. Because, like I said, as soon as I put the boots on, you know, if Cooper comes near me, if you have dogs that shed, before you leave the house, you know, you have... Um, you know the shedding on you so since i have so many of those friggin rollers don't know how that happened i'm going to leave a roller in this bin um i thought that would be a good idea now also this is well this isn't one but it looks like one so pretend this is a dryer sheet so and if you put a dryer sheet let's say on the floor in, in the closets it keeps mouse mouses away uh, that's what i was told to do in my camper um, and I cleaned off the top shelf, so with a wipe. Um, so I'm going to put the shoes above. You know, the shoes that I'm keeping in this closet, I'm going to put them up there on the shelf because I'm going to put um, the card tables, the card chair, the folding chairs, my rolling um, wagon, my other little cart that I take grocery shopping. It's all going to go in here. Things that you can't pack will go in here and I'll get the dresses out of here but I'm going to leave the coats in here also. So this is my shoe bin for winter wear. So I got it I got that big down pretty good. So we will keep moving on. So I hang Okay, so I just dumped out the bag of um all my winter stuff. So, let me see. I want to make sure I could see what I'm doing here. So we have brown hat, <laughs> brown gloves. I don't know if it's showing up on a brown couch. Okay, that's right there. We have a white scarf. Okay, we got the white scarf. <clears throat> white scarf. Oops, can you see that? Let's see. Put that one right there. Okay, white scarf, brown hat, brown gloves, white hat. Okay, 
Okay. We have white gloves. All right. For those, we have the good old trusty snow shovel. Snowing, uh, whatever. To shovel the snow. <sighs> we have one mitten <laughs> because I've lost the other. And don't ask me why I keep hanging on to that mitten. I just keep hoping I will find it someday. Okay, we have this and this. That and that. Okay, can you see that? All right. Okay, these are. All right, this is that and that. All right, can you. Let me see. Can you, can you see the. What I'm. Can you see what I'm putting down? <coughs> Shut up, <coughs> Cooper. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this situated. Okay, so what else we got? Okay, then we got some mittens that can go with this. Oh, here's a hat I bought from the Dollar Tree that I wore when I drove the school bus because they didn't have any hats. In. All right, which color goes better? We're gonna have to just get rid of that glove. All right, you know I had these earmuffs. Sounds like a good idea. Never wore them. Okay, we have these. Oh, that one with that coat when it used to be new, the one that I had for the car, working on the car coat. Oh, here's some more mittens. Okay, I guess these go with this better. I guess I don't have too much stuff. All right, so here's some. These were other uh, plow in the snow. Okay, this goes with my gray coat that I wear all the time. We'll put that aside because I have gray mittens. And then this. Okay. So... This is what we have here. All right, so plowing the snow off my car. Okay, we can keep that with these. And my bad winter coat, which I do have, which is my dog coat. Okay, we can get rid of the earmuffs. I've never worn them. Sounded like a good idea at the time. This, I think, was my daughter's. We can get rid of that. Um... I really like this, but do I have a brown coat? I think I might. This can go with my blue coat. Okay, so we'll keep this. Put that with my blue coat. We have this. Do I have a coat that matches that? Because I have coats in another closet too. Now, I bought this one recently and these, this one recently. This one has the ponytail, which I like. Okay, this was from the Dollar Tree. It was only a dollar, but it does go with these mittens. And if I do drive the bus, that goes with my uniform. I guess I don't have as much as I thought I did. And then I have these mittens, too. That can go for, these were shoveling snow mittens I guess I don't have too much I guess it wouldn't take up that much room I think I'll just get rid of these things and I think we're good as far as that goes yeah that wasn't too much I thought I had way more now I might have more somewhere else we will soon see okay Hang on. Yeah, so since my battery is dying, um, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, these, this, 
Um, this goes with any color. So I know I have a black coat and I have a brown coat and this would go with those. So I'm going to put these um, and this stuff. Well, I'm going to put that with my uniform. Um, this I might keep because it does go with my gray coat if I want to wear a ponytail. I'm going to put that aside there. But I'm going to do like I did with the shoes. Put these in a bag, hang, hang them in the closet. And if I find that I don't pull them by the time I move, because when I move it will be in April, it will be um, warmer, then I will go ahead and get rid of them at that time with those shoes that I liked but was weren't sure about. I will actually put those in that same bag that's what I'll do and then this what I'll, I'll pack with my uniform this you know I mean it's just one little hat um, so I'll keep that and I'll definitely keep this because that will go with any color coat all right so we were done with that closet we did good so this is day one of the pack declutter um, minimize I'm not really sure if I'm doing a good job of minimizing but we'll see when it's all said and done, I might get rid of more, but this was day one of the process. Thanks for watching. See you next day. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is day two of the declutter, trying to minimize, become a minimalist. And this is my second closet. And this is, again, uh, Thomas is here. To join the party these are more shoes like I said I had more shoes um I don't even know what's in that bin down there oh, you know what <laughs> that might be shoes so I have to go through all these clothes now and eliminate and then I will put those dresses and those outfits I kept from the front closet um, I had I had this other closet back here with more winter coats in it. I actually had it on a coat, um, a rolling rack that I used to have out of this closet. I'm going to use this closet <laughs> for packing and putting boxes in. I don't think I'll need it. And then odd things that don't go in, like my little green machine and my air freshener that don't go in boxes. Well, you could put it in a box, but you know what I mean? Like you can't pack it up. Um, and my what you call it shredder so this is so i have i had two really big closets in my bedroom which i don't use as a bedroom and then my suitcases so how many suitcases does a person need when they go nowhere and are you a bag person like what the hell i have, ba I have bags upon bags like a bag bags and bags <laughs> like is what i have so um we're on day two so this is how this starts and we'll see if we can eliminate some of this stuff okay I'll be right back and Thomas of course will be into everything okay so I'm back and yes this bin was full of shoes and not just those all these right here so I will um I'm gonna get rid of these these are white ones. You know, you're always looking for a pair of white sandals. Especially with for a dress or something. I have these. I don't like them. But I can never really find a pair that I like. But you know what? I'm going to get rid of them. These, I, I got really cheap. They're really comfortable. But. And they might go with one of my dresses. But you know what? I can't have, you know, I got these here. So, these I think will be my highest heels for my beige dresses. These shoes I've had for fucking years, so I probably should just throw these out. They are really comfortable. They are Maurice's. So, those are really comfortable. And these I barely ever worn. Of course, those are flats. Everybody has them. Um, these are actually really comfortable. They're Skechers. So I might put these in that bag with my other shoes. 
and if I don't wear them, but they are really comfortable. So I'm taking those back out of the pile. Um, these I got on a whim. They're kickoffs or what you call fake goes, not real sketchers. So I'm going to see if my daughter wants those. These I thought were really cute because I'm like, I want a really cute pair of sandals. But you know what? I can't. They're a bitch to put on. So I'm going to be done with those. These shoes, I swear, I've had since I was like 16. <laughs> Not really, but I've had them forever and they are the most comfortable of shoes. They are, Rial oh, Rialto. I think it was a shoe store back in the day. And they're really comfortable, but they're probably out of style. And I've had them forever, so they definitely got their money's worth. So that's the pile I'm going to get rid of. Now, these are my high heel black shoes. Because I do have a dress that goes with black heels. So I have the basic looking black heel. This is kind of a cute black heel. And then I do like this black heel. It's actually very comfortable. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try all those heels on. Just to make sure which I feel is most comfortable that I could wear without stockings, pantyhose, or whatever that I could wear with um, my black and white dresses or a black dress that I do have the one black, all black dress. So, and then I think I'm going to see if I could fit <coughs> possibly all these shoes into that one shoe bin. That'll make me feel good. And not use the shoe rack. So uh, I feel pretty good about this. Now, um, I did the clothes in here. <clears throat> These are things I wear all the time, so I, I already knew that they fit. So I actually didn't have to remove them. You know how they say remove everything out of your closet and start fresh. So those are kind of like my summer shirts. And this is my Cubs and black hawks you know and st patrick's day gear so i will put that over there along with my house coat and then a lot of my jeans um are hung up here which i'm going to retry on i don't i know the light it's dark now i know the lighting the jeans and the shorts which i know some of them oh, definitely fit but i'm going to try all these on the shorts you know, most I know fit because I just recently worn them. So I'll try all these on and see if the pants fit and these jeans that I have here just to make sure if they fit. If not, I will get rid of them. Okay, these shorts. Um, I have tons of like junk t-shirts, what I call it, where I won't go out in public in them, but I go out to let the dog out or work outside, you know. If I'm not going anywhere, my good t-shirts I keep in here, you know, just ones that look, look, you know, clean and, you know, newer, not the junk, you know, t-shirts that everybody has. So, and I got rid of a lot of junk t-shirts previously. So I'm going to put the shorts, the junk shorts with the junk t-shirts and I go back and forth between folding my t-shirts and putting them in a bin. Um, you know, for a while I'll fold them and then for a while I will put them in a bin. I need to sit, sorry. So I think I'm going to fold them and I think I have a smaller bin I think I saw somewhere in this cache you do not even want to see like I barely could get to my fridge to make myself dinner but it's coming let's see I try to go back further I can't but anyway it's coming across so um coming along rather so I'm going to put all the dresses that I saved and the clothes you know like nice clothes if I had to um work as a sub I'm going to put that in this closet so now I am down to just one closet of clothes, which I'm making progress. Okay, maybe I'm not a minimalistic yet because I still do have a lot of shoes. So that's an issue. But I knew shoes would be a problem for me. 
but so here we go and um let me convert the dressers into here get rid of these shoes put them in the pile for the goodwill and we will see what i'm doing next okay so i've cleaned out the bottom and i actually put the shoes that i've kept for summer you know spring summer i put in this bin i decided not to smush them into the bottom bin which were my winter boots that i did on day one because the whole thing is to be organized also so i didn't want to have to make it too difficult to um find stuff so here's all the dresses from the front closet my dress closet um and i will admit i did pull out the white turtleneck which i think i did get to go under this christmas sweater <laughs> so i did and then i kept this christmas tree turtleneck but all the rest i got rid of um you know i mean just because it's so thin like what the hell i'll just keep this you know because if i do sub like i said if you know any teachers we dress per the occasion so this is my saint patrick's day stuff halloween stuff and christmas attire put in that corner my sports attire cubs like i showed you and then these were all the um clothes that i kept from the front closet which um well it looks like a lot less it is it is a, a bit less the sweaters i had hanging up i'm actually going to put in a bin um to make that easier i kind of do um like i do with the sweatshirts sometimes i mean t-shirts sometimes i hang up my t-shirts you know my um you know roughing it t-shirts and sometimes i hang up sweaters and sometimes i don't hang up sweaters you know like sweaters that go with pants i did hang up and then on this side this is really all the summer clothes i have you know um don't have much now that i'm looking at it which is good you know i guess to be try to be a minimalist i don't know where this is going i hate when they don't stay on the hangers but anyway and i know all these pants um fit me so i have the other jeans basically jeans that i just have to try on and then some belts to see you know if because I'm now looking at my pants. I don't really have belt pieces. Uh, uh, well, shorts shorts are what I kind of do use belts for. Because they keep sliding down on me. So I have to check the belts. Uh, which I think I did previously. So these are probably still good. Um, so yeah. I'm, I'm pleased. So it looks a lot more efficient. A lot more organized and it'll be a lot quicker um, come moving day and I do I did keep my wardrobe boxes that you get when you move so this will all go in there very nicely I actually have three or four of those boxes so all my clothes for sure will go in two and then one for the coats so let me take you and show you the front closet. okay so we're back to the front closet so i put the shoes up there like i said um it's just easier i find to stick the shoes up there other than like the shoes that i wear to go outside and since it's a snowstorm i'm wearing the boots so i keep those down um and you know i only have the four coats so the mittens and hat mittens, mittens that i did pull out are good I think the the white hat mittens that are on the bottom of that will go with this and this. And this is the bag that I set of those shoes and extra mittens that I put aside that if I don't open it, don't use it, I will just throw it out when I do move. And then I did find my red raincoat. Remember I was saying I needed a red raincoat to go with my rain, red rain boots? So I did find it in the back closet. and. Um, some just hoodies and then another coat um this is my dog coat that i just hang up on a hook 
it's I've had it for years when I had my pet sitting um, business it is the warmest coat I've ever had in my life can't find it don't think they make that brand anymore now down here it probably looks like a mess oh shoot I just stepped in the snow it looks like a mess but what it is um, why I repurposed this is because a lot of this stuff was under my bed like I showed you in the part one video day one video oh sorry the coat's not doing anything so um, a lot of this was under my bed and this is items there's like my wagon I use this is my grocery cart sometimes I used to bring in groceries from the car um, TV trays a car table was under my bed um, gates my dog gates and baby gates which I will need I don't know if you can see that but I mean it just, and I have chairs back there that go with the car table so it doesn't look very neat but it's purposeful and these are all things that can't be packed up in a box you know when you're moving so these are my like odd items that can just be grabbed and go you know put them in the u-haul and they don't need to be boxed you know it's kind of a waste of a box um and i have a ladder in there and everything so and my dolly a dolly is in there so i packed a lot of shit in this closet but i could still get easily to my coats i could still get to my cart that i bring the groceries in from the car and i can still pretty easily get to the wagon when I um, need to bring a big load into the building so and then you know so there I made a bigger pile of clothes to go to Goodwill it's getting pretty big those are all the shoes I found two dog toys that were never really used and I set them up here because if she doesn't use them or pull at them um, I know no one wants them so I will give those to the Goodwill. They're like brand new. And, you know, I, I think I talked about my bingo game. Like, who the hell am I going to play with? So, you know, um, I've had that for years. And so I found a place. And then these, and I'm going to give up. I have a whole big box of, well, a whole bunch of bags of Christmas lights. So I will, because I, I won't have bushes. And I probably will never have a home home of my own. So I have outside Christmas lights I'm going to give to Goodwill. But I don't know if you saw on my last um, video. Like this was packed. My bookshelf was packed with cookbooks and books. So I found a place that does buy books like I did when I was getting pushed out of my home. I sold a lot of books to them. And some of these were never like this other than this book. I've never even read these books. I don't know how I got them. You know, and I was always like, you know, one day when I have nothing to do in life, I'm going to sit down and just read. And I've never read a day in my life other than two years ago I started reading um, spiritual books and metaphysical books that I was interested in. And, you know, um, witchcraft, Wicca books type of things. And then this is all cookbooks. I did save a few, you know, because I just don't have energy to cook, number one. And those those books pretty much covered everything that was in this, these books. So, and then I had, I bought this cocktail book, you know, because uh, when I was living with a boyfriend, you know, I thought, oh, well, let's get a, this cocktail book to make some cocktails. However, um... Just put it this way there's some people that might come to my new home that are recovering alcoholics <laughs> so i don't need to have that book around um and this book this book was kind of good why men love bitches <laughs> you, you know that was kind of a good book um but i'm like okay but all these and i didn't i didn't never got around to reading marley and me which is supposed to be like a really good book. I don't know. You know what? 
Maybe I should put that, I'll put that one like this. Because maybe I will read it one of these days. I heard it's a good story. So, yeah. So that's really encouraging. Because I do have a whole shelf of my um, Tara, not Tara, but metaphysical books, with rich crap book, astrology books, um, spell books, that I could probably put on this bookshelf now and narrow it down to just one bookshelf. So I'm really pleased about how everything is going. Amelia does not know what is going on. She has no idea why this house is in chaos. Um... She, every time I would try to pack up to go to my daughter's, she'd get nervous in the beginning. Because the last time I went through this kind of type of thing, I won't even show you my whole apartment because it's just like this. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Every inch. Um, she would get really nervous because I had to send her off to someone. Um because she couldn't come in the car with me. It would have been too difficult. And luckily, I wasn't quite sure if I would get her back, but I did. So now whenever this type of thing happens, or if I pack up too much, she gets nervous because she thinks, what the hell is going on again? But it's her bedtime, so she's sleeping now. But anyway, so that's day two. So we will proceed on tomorrow. See you soon. Bye-bye. So I put all the sweaters that I took from the front closet that were hanging and I put them all in this bin. Hopefully you could see with the two leggings that go with these sweaters. And I took all my, remember I said, uh, warmer sweaters, whatever. Um, I did have two sweatshirts. Things that I don't care if the baby splits up on, but if I'm cold, I put them, I didn't have a bin, so I put them in that, which I repurposed. Well, I didn't have any purpose for it. So, I, I don't even remember what, I think toys were in it when I did daycare. I actually had a corporation. I ran out of my home, so I have a, I, whatever. I have a lot of stuff. I had a lot of stuff. Big toys kind of things. But learning toys, I've kept all those. And they're behind me, which I'm not going to show you yet. Um, so let me pause this for a second. I'm going to go out. Sorry, I think I cut that off mid mid sentence. I'm, I said I was going to go out to the kitchen. So um, I think I said I I have a lot of t-shirts. So I guess that's the masculine side of me. You know, we all have yin and yang, um, and that's the yang side of me. So I went through. I had to tape something up, so I went through this bin and. Um, this is what was left in it. It was called a tape bin. I'm big on bins. I'm big on bags. And I'm big on, big on labeling. So, part Virgo, Virgo, part teacher, part, I don't know. Um, what you call it? What's that? Where the, obsessive compulsive, is that the thing? Not with germs, but just, uh, Anal is what people have called me back in the day. Um, pay huge attention to detail. So, uh, and I had to put Thomas' food up here so the dogs wouldn't eat it. He's still in his crate. Huge, huge dog crates. People, cat lovers, don't fret. He has his whole litter box. He's got his blanket. He's got another food bowl in there. He's fine. He just was, uh, as you saw before, my other videos getting into everything. And I just need him to be out of, out of sight, out of mind for a minute. Um, so what I'm going to do is I think, now I don't know, I don't think all these are going to fit in there, but that's kind of good because I'm trying to be minimalistic. Again, the shoe situation is not coinciding with that idea. <laughs> um, and I forgot to mention, I also like pajamas. I used to have a lot more coats, so I did good on the coats, as you can see. Although, I guess if you're going to be minimalistic, you should just go down to two coats. And I have, what, four? Plus the hat and mitten sets, or hat and scarf sets, whatever. But I'm getting there, okay? So, this is like a, a gradual process. Like, maybe like a 12-step program. <laughs> um, 
And clothes are were my biggest issue as far as well shoes were was my biggest issue and and I like a lot of pajamas so I was looking at my pajama I'm like why do I need this many pajamas although I do change them often you know like every other day um so I guess but I have more than like seven for the season so I don't know I might have to get rid of my pajamas but anyway um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if I can fit whatever I can fit in this bin because it has a lid and I'm putting the things like you saw on the floor in the closet. That's going to be my only clothes closet whereas before I had two clo full clothes closets. Um, and what I can't fit in the bin I will get rid of. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to put the camera down because I don't have it. I'm not going to set it on my tripod. And play the elevator music like everybody does on YouTube. I don't have anyone to hold it for me. I am not a professional. So I have to learn all that shit. I'm just a Joe Schmo, you know, doing a YouTube channel. Just your average person. And I learn everything I do um, by myself. So I do want to get to the point where I can do the, you know, the live action shots with the elevator music playing in the background as you watch me fold 10 shirts because it's so soothing and uh people love to watch that so maybe next time but for right now hang on let me fold my shirts okay so progress um you know i was like oh yay you know i fit everything in this is a pair of shorts these are two shorts oh sorry these are two shorts over here and I'll put this one in over there or maybe here but um so what I was and I rolled it because they say to roll like when you're traveling in your suitcase to fit more so I was like oh you know this is perfect this worked out really good and then I remembered I have clothes in my hamper which are probably t-shirts um I did just do laundry so I don't think there could be that much in there so yeah but these are the ones I'm going to keep. These are just like I said, <laughs> wearing around the house when I'm not going anywhere where I have to go outside to let the dog out and I don't want to be, you know, my pajamas because the public. And what I found when I was rolling, because if, um, okay, let me show you this. So this shirt fits me. You know, I kind of look like, I think, you know, I don't know. I think it might fit me good. But it's it's not the loosest. I kind of like looser things. I love this shirt. So it's good doggy and it's a dog biting as someone. Um, I was a pet sitter, so I thought it was quite funny. Um, so when you f fold the shirts, fold them um, in half, you know, in half like this. But um, the other way. You know, like this, this way. And then at first I, I was rolling and I rolled from the top down, but then it left it with just red. So if you roll from, if you start rolling, let's say from the bottom, okay, and this isn't very perfect because I'm using one hand. So if you're rolling from the bottom, okay, then you can kind of see what shirt it is. I guess, he, I guess she's going in the bin. Mine as well. Um, so you can see what shirt it is. Alright, so I learned that after rolling the first one. Now I also, I have this sports gear, which I love. I love this shirt. I mean, it does fit me. Again, it's another one like the red one. I kind of, sort of a little pack sausage, but, um, you know, I wouldn't want to, remember I was doing a 360 view of myself with all the clothes. You know, front side, looking pretty good. Side, you know, I don't know. <laughs> if I'm a bloated day, not looking so well. But, um, it's, I'm telling myself, it's so thin. And what room could it take up? So I might just put it in a, on a hanger in the closet. Um, I'm going to put these shorts in here. <clears throat> so all these do fit in this bin. And we'll see what's in my laundry. Now I did have, you know, I have this big shirt. And I have this big shirt. 
because um, my ex was a police officer and a sheriff and I did work uh, I was a probation officer myself so I kind of like this like these would be perfect painting shirts see this is how my mind thinks like what if I had a painter room like I can't even hold this camera up. how am I gonna hold a paintbrush up to paint a room so I need to like be realistic bitch with myself um but I do sleep in this too so I'm uh, you know what I don't know I might give it to my daughter here's this is a pile of coats and books the idiot's guide to the well-behaved child um maybe I'll give her that um even though she probably has one from her father and then I'm gonna I'll get rid of this even though that is a really good painting shirt but again slap myself slap myself bitch when am I ever gonna paint again and then this shirt as you could see got really messed up and I was not painting it oh I think I colored my hair in it so you know, yeah now that I say that now I think I was gonna keep it for like moving day just you know if I whatever or if I have to work outside I can wipe my hands on it you know when I had the house I have had um, three houses when I was married and I did all the landscaping and I did all the yard work and I did all the pulling weeds and I would have you know t-shirts like this that I would wear for that type of thing because you know when you just wipe your hands on your shirt you're like whatever like again maybe masculine side of me I don't know my yang um, I need to really get into my more feminine but see I don't wear heels or dresses so it's like I need to get there girl um, anyway just having a little chat with myself but the struggle is really real and this, I bought this, I didn't even drink coffee then. Now I drink it because I'm diabetic. And I drink the unsweetened coffee. And I put the unsweetened, like, cream in it. Or low fat, whatever it is. I think it's unsweetened. Sugar free. Um, so, just to have another drink. Because there's a lot of things I don't drink anymore. Well, not, not a lot. I just, just to have a, something different. Um, so, I might hang this one up too. And that will be for like moving day. And then I'll hang this up with my sports gear. Just to keep that all together. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go put this in the closet. And just hope I don't have that much laundry in my laundry basket. Which I don't think I do. And if I do, I'll just have to smush it all down. But I, I, I'm proud of myself. I think that went well. Alright. Let's uh, see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but I'll probably turn the camera on uh, somewhere else. See you in a minute.